word. And I am expecting um, more more people, but I um, I'm going to take an opportunity to do some introductions today, um, ask you a few questions to find out what you'd like to get out of the series, um, and then I'm going to walk you through in case you haven't you know sort of taken the time to look at the series and look at all the materials. I'll share my screen with you, and we can go through some of those as well. I'm going to give you some homework for this week, and then we'll finish off just by you know some intentions for the week and um, what you're sort of going to uh, get some momentum for the week. <clears throat> okay, so okay, so Laura's muted. If you can see, if you guys can see, there's a little strike through on that. Um, and do you see that? So if you wanted to, let's. I'll mute myself for a second. <laughs> And there we go. And then I'll turn my video off for a minute. Oh, no, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try it. Wait. Oh, there. Oh, my I just did it. Yay. Yay. Okay. And I'm back. I'm back. All right. So it's 9.01. Unfortunately, my mom <laughs> is having tech problems. So I'm not sure she'll come on. She is the one who created all the recipes. And, um, she, I tried to do a little bit of a Facebook live session on Facebook on Sunday, but I had some problems and it was difficult to communicate. Um, but if you do have questions about the soup, whether it's ingredients or preparation or anything like that, you can just get in touch with me and I'll relay those questions to my mom and she can help sort of decipher some of that. If there's an ingredient that you're like, well, where do I get this? Or how does this work? Or I wasn't clear when you put this in, etc. Okay, so let's start off with just some introductions. And um, I'm curious, when you introduce yourself, if you could tell me um, what had you interested in this program to begin with? Um, what are some of potentially your health and eating goals or your health and wellness goals? And then what is, is it about soup in particular that's appealing to you? And then maybe like your favorite soup that you, that you generally love to have. So Alex, why don't we start with you? What am I supposed to tell you? Why why I'm here and why I like What had you interested in the program? Um, what are some maybe of your, your health goals or um, you know eating goals, what you're trying to um, learn about with respect to your relationship with food or improving your food relationship and things like that? Um, what, what is it about soup that's appealing to you in particular and then your favorite soup? Okay. You can say where you're from too. Uh, I'm in Western Mass, originally from New York City. Um, I met Jenny in Worcester at the Veg Fest. My goals for myself are basically um, I left to my own devices. I get I can get very heavy, and I just want to eat all the time. Uh, I was in a twelve step program for many years, which was successful for a while, but not after a certain point. So I'm trying to find that happy medium between perfectionism and just throwing it all to the winds. Um, they say I've been vegan since 1987. Yes. Um, and soup, I, I, it's actually funny that I'm here in spite of soup because I don't think of soup as a summer food. Okay. You mentioned cherry soup. So I thought, well, maybe that's you know, summer. Uh, I love soup in the colder yeah. one. And I don't know if I could name a favorite. I mean, I like split pea and lentil and uh, mushroom barley. Those are all good ones. Yep. Um, it's funny that you feel like soup is not a summer food because when I think about my favorite soup, it's gazpacho, which is all about <laughs> summer, you know. Um, but yeah, so hopefully there's like even more to learn here because it's not something you typically think of with mm -hmm. respect to summer. Um, so thank you for that intro. I appreciate that. Um, and Laura, why don't we going to you. This is a new form for me. So can you, can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. We see you. Oh, wow. Um, funky. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm um, in, uh, on the North shore, Massachusetts. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, my, my health goals really are to, um, uh, to have a good relationship with food, but be, um, be healthy and not, um, uh, diet, be dieting all the time. Just um, Jenny and I work together, um, and I, you know, I think 
re most recently in the last few months, I've really come to um, want to use diet as a um, a noun and not so much as a verb. And I keep saying that, but um, Love it. <laughs> yeah, because I've always been, you know, dieting and, and so, um, but now I just really want to have a healthy diet. Um, uh, so what, I love soup. Um, uh, so, and I really don't have a favorite. Um, although I guess during the winter, ginger carrot was, um, I was on board with that for, I was obsessed with that for a little while. Um, I actually bought myself a Vitamix because, mm -hmm. um, I like smoothies and um, and soups so much. Um, I mean, I mean, I actually I make my own stock often, not always, but um, I have. But like Alex, I really, I actually don't think of soup as a summer food. Um, and in the winter, I'm almost weekly I make a, a soup. Um, and uh, but in the summer, yeah. And and I don't really know a lot about um, the cold soups. And mm. I want to like gazpacho. I've tried it a couple of times, but I actually don't. Um, so maybe a different um, uh, a different recipe or something will um, be good for me. So, um, yeah, so that's me. <laughs> that's great because we have the cu cucumber gazpacho, which you're going to try, hopefully. And I hope you like that. Um, and, you know, I think that it's really, you gave a really thorough understanding about what you're looking for and sort of re- reframing the idea of diet. I love that idea of, of a, you know, no longer a verb, but really a noun. This is your lifestyle. This is your diet. And, you know, soup is being part of that. It's great that you already like soup, but we're going to talk about in today why soup can be such a, a powerful part of a healthy diet and, and a balanced diet. Um, but I think that you're, you already know that because it's, you've done that in the fall and the winter, et cetera. Um, so welcome. And Thank you. Jackie, well, on to you. Hi, I'm Jackie, and I am in Stowe, Massachusetts, and I also have worked with Jenny, um, and I am honestly mostly here because Jenny suggested doing it, and I support Jenny in everything that she does. <laughs> there you go. And um, I'm... I'm working on a lot of things around my, my eating and my, my health situation. Um, Jenny helped me with a lot of things when I was working with her, and I'm trying to get back to some of them because it's been a while since we worked together. Um, and I figured this would be a great way to get refocused on some of those things. And Jenny taught me while we were working together that soup is really a good way to fill your belly and satisfy your um, your your hunger and I've I've used it off and on and I don't ever ever cook soup so this is this will be a good a good way and as far as favorites um, I love butternut squash soup in the winter I mean I like a lot of I like almost every soup other than lentil and pea soup I think Alex is <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't like carrot ginger soup so <laughs> oh, yeah, see I like the carrot ginger and, um, and I love gazpacho. Gazpacho was going to be what I said, but since you already took it, I had to come for something else. <laughs> it's um, okay. We're both allowed to have a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm just sort of experimenting with this, and I, I seems like a great idea. So. That's great. I'm so glad that you decided to do it. Yeah, well, we'll see. At 9 o'clock at night, I'm actually not working, so that's... I'm shocked. <laughs> well, only because I'm on, on here, and I'm not... I have my briefcase right over there, so... So every yeah. Tuesday for the next, uh, you know, seven weeks, 9 to 9.30, we'll be together. We'll talk about any pitfalls that you've had, anything that's kind of come up as a challenge for you, either in the preparation of the soup or questions about, like, how to batch prep them or when to have them or anything like that. You know, in the program, I've suggested other um, things to eat. I, of course, I wouldn't tell you what to eat, 
And this is not a weight loss program, but really a jumpstart to healthy living and using the structure and foundation of a very macronutrient balanced meal like soup as a sort of a way to anchor you throughout the entire day. That's really the purpose of it. Um, and I want to introduce my, my mom. Arlene, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. I don't usually call her Arlene. <laughs> I usually just call her mom. But why don't you just take a minute to introduce yourself and talk a little bit about each of the soups that you... So my mom is the chef, and she's the one who developed all, and all the soup recipes for the program. And she also can be answering any questions you have about it. So um, mom, why don't you take the floor for a minute? Uh, you want me to talk about the soups in this program or introduce myself or? Yeah, introduce yourself, or? introduce yourself, talk about the soups for the summer program. Okay. Uh, so I'm Arlene. Um, I've been uh, a I attended the French Culinary Institute as a student. I've worked with Jean-Georges Van Gerichten. I've known food business. Um, and then I ended up Ended my career teaching for the French Culinary Institute. Uh, I've also been writing for Fine Cooking Magazine for about 10 years now. So um, I, I really love uh, recipe development. And I personally am a great fan of soups. I always have a batch in my freezer. Um, I always cook in large quantities. And as we live in, I live in New York City, and there's uh, many nights when I get home I'm too tired, too busy uh, to think about cooking and soup, soup, bread and cheese, or just soup and salad. Uh, uh, make a very, very nice meal for my husband and myself. So um, Jenny wanted me to develop soups that were nutritional. I've been careful about not making them too rich. Uh, don't. don't use cream or butter, and um, I hope you like them. <laughs> and if you have any questions uh, at all, please let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks. All right, thank you. So um, in total, we actually have 40 people who are signed up for this class. Obviously, it's very difficult to find a time that's going to work for everybody, and there may be weeks where you may not be able to join. And for that reason, that's why I'm recording each of the calls so that when, if you do need to miss a session, you can get caught up with what we talk about and hopefully use that as a support system for you for this week. Um, I also wanna mention that I'm making this a series, meaning I'm gonna have a fall series, a winter series. I've done the spring series as a beta test, so that really wasn't really open to the public yet, but next spring I'll have, I'll have one as well. Um, and I thought it might be helpful if I share my screen and just show you what the Teachable platform looks like. Uh, out of Jackie, Laura, and Alex, how many of you have been actually on to the site and have looked around a little bit? Just Alex, I mean just Laura, right? Oh, onto the site, not, not this form. Yes, a little, a little bit, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to attempt to share my screen. I've never done this before, so we're going to see if it works. And I'm going to walk you through a little bit about what it looks like. So tell me if this works. <laughs> Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so this is sort of, a, I'm going to move this. Um, this is sort of why take on a soup based program and I'll just go over this really quick um, and we talked about this but um, there's really some specific reasons first is that it's macronutrient balance so it's like a one pot meal basically where you're getting healthy uh, you're getting a lean protein you're getting a healthy fat and you're getting complex carbohydrates and the, the combination of those is what may, tells your body that you know what I feel good I can push myself away from the table, and it's different than feeling full in the, in the respect of your stomach being distended. It's really a, a feeling of satiation, being sated, and feeling like, you know what, I'm good to go for several hours, and that's really what the purpose of soup does. Um, Jackie talked about the, or Laura talked about the idea of volume, maybe both of you talked about that, and how unlike other foods that are not water-based, um, like a lot of processed foods and a lot of simple carbohydrate foods, you could have the same amount of calories as like say a bag of pretzels with the soup, but you're going to feel very differently with those exact same calories if you're having more volume in that. 
Okay, so again, that's another reason why to take this on. Another thing that I really liked about it, the idea is that it's something that can be batch prepped and made in advance and frozen and used really anytime you want, just as my mom had mentioned. You know, coming home from work after a long day, you don't want to necessarily go and start cooking something. So having sort of a, a planned day, whether it's Sunday or some convenient day of the week for you, where you can either batch prep one of the recipes or several at a time could be really helpful in terms of um, keeping yourself organized and having something always available on hand to pull out, either from the fridge or the freezer. Um, any questions about that? Alex, are you still there? I don't see you on here. I'm here. Okay, great. I don't see Arlene. Oh, okay. So when you talk, your your photo actually shows up. So you're, we're not in gallery view. Can you see me? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can only see four people at a time, including right. myself. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it only allows four people. Yeah. So um, I have a little quiz on here, which you can take. It's fun. Um, what's your eating style? You can find out what your eating style is like. On each of these lectures and sections of this class, um, there's a comment section. So I want it to be a bit of a community. I'd like you to be able to communicate with each other as well as with me, and I will respond. So anytime you want to say something, just leave a comment, post it, and I'll get an email letting me know that someone has posted on there so people can communicate with one another. I always feel that um, programs are best when there's a community element to it and when there's a sense of you're with somebody, like someone gets it, you're not alone, people are doing this sort of together. Um, and then I have an intake form. This is something you can fill out. You don't have to. In here, you just download it. And it's a way for me just to get to know you a little bit better, um, understand your history, your health history, et cetera. And then in the next section, oh, I should also mention that there's also a welcome video, which we won't play right now, um, a little bit more about soup, a little bit more about me. Um, there's a, This is just a little bit more about the program as a whole. And then we get into the summer soup. So it's all PDF files that you can print out. You can laminate them if you want. You can just keep them on your refrigerator. Whatever organization system is best for you, you can keep them on here. So here's a, all of them. And then as you go down, there'll be specific recipes for each one. This is the corn chowder recipe. It's a step-by-step -step, um, cucumber gazpacho. Everybody can see this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, et cetera, et cetera. And then I have a bonus soup, which is a mushroom soup. You can also put Parmesan cheese on that. Perfect. And then I have a video, which you should listen to. I'm not going to play it now. Of, um, oh, yes, I am playing it now. Okay. <laughs> With um, information about what else you can eat during the day to bring even more structure to this. So I'm going to be talking in this video, I'm going to talk about starting your day with lemon water, um, options for breakfast, options for dinner, um, options for snacks. I also have links to various protein powders or you know, shake options if you decide to do smoothies. Um, and then there's a section, uh, soup secrets, which I'm going to leave a secret until you get on there. <laughs> different ways that you can enhance the flavor of your soup in any in different various ways. Um, and then I have the shopping list um, for all of the soups in one, which you can um, see right here. And um, there's information about the coaching call, but you and you know that's a, I've actually updated this since then. Um, and then. There is some, uh, I should point out, there's a prep checklist. So this is a way to get you started. You know, if, if, assuming you, none of you have started it so far, there's like top 10 things to get started. Okay, is that clear for everybody? This is all stuff that you, should, you can do on your own. You have full access to this teachable site. You can access it anytime you want. And again, um, I'm gonna be giving you homework assignments on the call today and on every week, which you can follow up either with me on using the uh, comment section here or over email with me or again on the call the next week. Okay, any questions about that? Jenny, could you possibly resend the link? Yes. That would be great because I, I can't, I just going through my email, I can't find it. Yep, I will absolutely do that, no problem. That'd be great. Thank you. Sure. All right. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. And um, 
I'm going to give you a homework assignment. Oh, wait, any other questions about what I've outlined or anything in general? Uh, I wanted to make one more comment, mm -hmm. um, it, which I haven't discussed, uh, well, I should, should discuss, and that is that I have, I'm at a normal weight now, but I have struggled with uh, being uh, somewhat overweight all my life, and I've, di I've been on every diet imaginable numerous times. The, there have been cycles, uh, high protein, low protein carbs, uh, you name it, I've done it. Uh, and uh, it actually, I was able to normalize my weight when I decided to stop dieting. And everything that Jenny is teaching is exactly what finally worked for me. It was just, it wasn't sudden, it wasn't quick, but it happened and I just eat differently now and I enjoy it much more. So I just wanted you to know that I can relate to this problem. It's been a lifelong issue for me. Still is. I mean, I still think a lot about it. Yeah. Uh, no, and that's a good point. And, you know, one of the things that my mom taught me <laughs> is how to enjoy, really enjoy food and to be like a foodie, how to be, how to savor food, how to, um, I always tell the story about when you always tell me to sit down when I'm eating because I would st eat standing up and like grabbing and I wouldn't like actually own the decision to sit down and eat my meal. And that's been really groundbreaking for me is being able to eat more mindfully by owning the decision. This is what I'm eating. It's on my plate and it's on the table and I'm going to eat it versus, oh, multitasking, a little bit of spoonful of this, a little bit of peanut butter, a little cracker here. Um, yeah, so that's, as the people who have worked with me know, I'm all about everything that my mom just said, so. Yeah, so thanks, Mom. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to give you a homework assignment and then a, another specific challenge to do um, for this week. And so everybody grab a pen and paper if you can, or if you have a super amazing memory, that's great too. Um, and so for the homework assignment, I'd like each of you to prepare at least one of the soups this week. Preferably batch prepare them. So pick a day where you can make a big batch of one of the recipes listed below, I mean listed in the in the site, um, and then have have it for lunch or for dinner at least one time this week. Okay, we're gonna, you know, some people are gonna jump right in and have it every single day. Other people, you're gonna want to just start it slowly, and you want to at least start by getting the ingredients. Go over the checklist that I put on the site. Get yourself all organized and ready to do at least one of the soups and batch prep it. Be ready to have some. By next week, I want to hear, you know, what your experience was with prepping it, with, you know, what, what you thought about in terms of its taste and satiety, how full it made you, et cetera. Okay? You guys on board for that? Okay. And then a separate challenge, which is not mandatory, but highly, highly recommended um, is to keep a food log of some sort. Um, this is for your benefit. If you'd like, you can share it with me. Um, like share a, your diary with me, you don't have to. Um, and there are several different ways that you can do that. One is my fitness pal, which is what I often recommend. There's also a lose it, um, spark people, Fujicate. There's a million different apps that you can use. You can even just write it in a diary or like a, you know, little notebook. But what it does is keep you accountable and engaged in this process. And accountability is really, really important because we can have really great intentions like I want to get healthier and I want to eat better and I want to have structure. And then as soon as something gets in the way, which it always does, whether it's a vacation or an illness or you know a stressful day or whatever, a car, you know, um, traffic then we feel stymied and we feel like we're just going to give up all these great intentions. So we want to move from intentions to action. And one of the ways to do that is to stay in action, stay in action, stay accountable through the discussion center here that I've set up on the teachable site and through keeping a food log. So raise your hand if you're open to doing that. Laura, I see your hand raised, Laura. <laughs> Okay, awesome. I, I started doing that on my Fitbit app, but it was too complicated. Okay. Um, yes. So if you go to myfitnesspal.com. That's what I use. 
Yeah. yeah, Jackie uses that. You can actually sync it with your Fitbit. Oh, cool. And so what, whatever steps you take will automatically be um, transferred to there. Yeah. I really like that one because it has like all different foods, anything you can imagine. Um, and then once you start to put in the soups into my fitness pal, it will have it as regular options. And you can just, it's like, let's say you have it for lunch every day. You could just boom, 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 boom. Um, and the idea is not to like obsessively count calories or to be concerned about that. It's again, it's just for accountability and it's for just keeping yourself sort of engaged and mindful and in the process rather than I'll just, you know, kind of go about my day and hope for the best. And right. So part of why you join this is to create some bit of structure. And because I'm not working with you one on one, this is a way that adds a little bit more of that accountability process to, the, to this. Um, any questions about that? Okay, good. So before we end the call today, I want to um, have everybody go by, you know, go one by one and just tell me one healthy intention you have this week that you are committed to, uh, to doing. One healthy intention with respect to this program or another element, you know, ancillary to this program that you're committed to doing this week. So Laura, why don't we start with you? Um, you know what, I think um, just hearing all of these words again has kind of jump-started me. I, I literally, I just came back from vacation. So I think um, I think just recommitting and, um, and uh, journal, like uh, keeping a diary is a really good idea because I was um, free-falling over vacation. So yeah, that's good. Um, I think I'm going to go through the diary. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to that for next week. <laughs> um, and Jackie, what about for you? So I just started journaling again, so it's not fair for me to say that because I'm already <laughs> doing it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna obviously try to keep doing that. I'm going away this weekend, so it'll be a challenge to do it, but I'm gonna try. Um, but I, I think my intention is just to, um, I, and I probably won't be able to make the soup because of my schedule. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's just to really find a way to move my body, at least over the weekend. Um, it's just constantly, I'm going to a Scrabble tournament, so I don't know how to <laughs> fit that in, but I think I'll be able to. Desk. So. <laughs> I, I have tables for the boards. What's that? If, if you have like, you know, those high bar tables, yeah. Scrabble games, you'll have to stand at them. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that's why I love groups. People have the best ideas, the things that I would never think about. Right, Nobody awesome. else may want to do it. But. <laughs> no, but you know what? The more ideas, the better. So, yeah. All right, Jackie, great. So, um, Alex, what about for you? Um, I would say something I tried to start doing and then fell out of and would like to start again is having um, eight cups of water a day. Great. I like that. Um, you know, it's, that's so hard for me too. I, I have, I have this app called, um, daily water that reminds me, like sends me a little, it sends me like a little beep to drink water. And I usually, I shut it off like a snooze button. I'm like, okay, okay. I know I need to do it. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I had this great quart jar that I would make lemon water in and then I would drink that. And then a little bit later I would drink another one. And I'd be like, there I go, 64 ounces. And I don't know where the jar is. It's like I can't water now. Yeah. Yes, yes, you can. No water, water since I lost the jar. Exactly. There's no other way, right? What about some of the seltzers and the seltzer series? Don't they count yeah, as I may not know about that. I am, on my site, I have um, a seltzer series. I love seltzer. So there's all different recipes using different flavors and mint and all kinds of stuff. Basil, if you're interested. Very simple. Very, very simple recipes. Okay. Yeah. And what about you, Mom? Well, um, one of the things that I always struggle with is connecting my mind to my stomach. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, it's very hard sometimes when there's, I, I don't put too much on my plate, but sometimes I get full when I'm halfway through, but it tastes good and I don't want to waste it. So I eat it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm going to try to stop. Nobody can relate to that mom here. <laughs> Try to really listen to my body when I'm eating and stop when I'm comfortable before I get uncomfortable. And it doesn't take that much anymore. Hmm. Okay, well, I hope I have your genes. I get those genes. 
Um, okay, well, thank you very much uh, for all of these great intentions. And, you know, um, I'm going to follow up with you on all of them for next week. Um, and then just for some housekeeping, um, I, Jackie, I'll send you the link again. Yes. And we're going to be here again next week. These calls are only a half hour. And I also want to ask your permission to take the video. I'm going to be posting it on YouTube, but permission to also put it on my Wilderness Warriors group um, with the knowledge that you are taped and that, you're, that people will see your voice and hear your voice and see you. So I just want to make sure everybody's comfortable with that um, mm -hmm. before I do it. Yep. Sure. Any dissents? Okay. Very good. Um, so it's right at 9.30 on the dot. Thank you guys so much. I'm so glad it was a nice small group today. I imagine it'll be larger in future weeks, but you get a sense of what the virtual classroom is like. There's limit, There's an unlimited amount of things we can do. Not only can I share my screen, you can share your screen. I can give you that ability. So we can really make this a very interactive program, and it's up to you to really fully into implement it and make it your own. Um, but I'm available, obviously, during the week in any capacity, if it's email, what have you. Um, and good luck for this week, guys. Just Thanks. want to say, uh, if there are any questions on the recipes, uh, just email Jen, and I and she will uh, forward it to me, and we'll make sure that we answer the questions as quickly as possible. Okay. I just want to say I'll see you in two weeks, because I'm at a concert next Tuesday. Oh, nice. Which one? Uh, Joe Ely. Nice. Have fun. Thanks. All right. We'll see you in two weeks then. But I'll be in touch. All right. Perfect. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.